So today we wanted to give a short supplementary lesson on the color coding system found on the Jungpep uh, textbook. So the main thing you'll see is that um, there are three main vowel sounds and these vowel sounds are implicit in any Tibetan letter. This is the first exercise of the first lesson. And you can see here we have three uh, Tibetan letters. Ah. Ha. 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 And ha. These first three letters are called in Tibetan the uh, uh, three root uh, enunciations. And when we look at the texts, uh, we have some descriptions of what those sounds sound like. We can say this one. Ah is articulated with a closed throat or a constricted throat. I'm going to say the second one, the red ha. Ha. This is articulated, you know, from your chest um, with your breath. And this final one. Ha. This one is articulated with an open or a loose throat and it's low in tone. When we combine this traditional uh, system with modern linguistics, then we come up with four sound profiles. We have the yellow, uh, which is based on our a, uh, ga. This is high tone and unaspirated. We have red, which is based on our ha, ka. And this is high tone and aspirated. That means you add some breath. Um, you can see the difference between these two high tone sounds is an aspiration. One is unaspirated. If you were to speak this word in front of a candle flame, uh, the flame wouldn't flicker, it would remain steady. Ga. Right? And if you were to speak this one in front of a candle, the candle would flicker. Ka. Because there would be breath expelled as you were speaking that. In English, for example, we have the uh, consonant K. Ka. Ka. And that covers both of these usages. For example, uh, the word kin, K-I-N, meaning a relative, would be aspirated. Ka. Kin. But the K in skin would be unaspirated. Ka. Skin. Kin. In, ka. So if you uh, want to practice that way, if you're a native English speaker, you can practice by saying skin and then just trying to eliminate the S, that initial S, skin, skin, gin, gin, and just try to get to that ga. Uh, root ga sound. And of course, kin ka. is something we all know. So that's uh, a difference between aspiration in yellow and red. So then we come down here. This is based on our third uh, third vowel, implicit vowel sound. Ah. Uh. Right? Ka. Ka. And that is a difference in tone between these first two. These two are high in tone. Ka. Ka. And this one's lower in tone. Ka. And then we have a fourth division. Nga. These sounds are going to be low in tone, but they are going to be unaspirated. So this is our basic color coding. If you want to see how it looks like throughout the whole alphabet, you can see the traditional Tibetan alphabet is uh, divided into columns and rows. And uh, it's divided along linguistic principles. So you have the first row here, which is the guttural sounds, and it goes from unaspirated high in tone, aspirated high in tone, to aspirated low tone. And then you have the palatals, the dentals, and the labials, and so on. <clears throat> in other words, you're moving through the mouth as you go down the rows, from the back of the mouth towards the front, and you're moving in each row um, through the aspiration and from high tone to low tone. 
And this final row is the nasals. Nga, nya, na, ma. And so that gives a short introduction to some of the um, traditional and modern uh, principles uh, behind our textbook. Hey there, thank you for watching. Feel free to watch more videos, click to subscribe, or support us on Patreon.